All right, so I'm working on a video here for the channel. Just show, uh, going to show you what I use to power my equipment when I'm out in the wilderness. Um, but I just wanted to make this quick video. You know, you can slow down a clip like that, and then you can add, if you use Final Cut, you know, you can do this. You can add optical flow, and that will add frames inside the slow motion. That's all nice and good. Um, but let's say I have a 30 frame per second clip here, and I want to make it 60. All right. Uh, you can actually do that and keep it at 100% speed. There's a little bit of a workaround. So the first thing I'll do here is I'm just going to add a new project. I'm going to make it a 4K. Let's just call it test. A little spoiler on what, pan what solar panel I'll be talking about. There it is, but, you know, oh well. Um, so we're going to go with that. So now I have a 60 frame per second timeline. And uh, let's go grab a couple of clips from right here. So these are 30 frame per second clips. Uh, I'll cut to this and you can see what it looks like at 30 frames. Alright, so that was a 30 frame per second uh, sample video. Hopefully you're watching this YouTube video in 60 frames per second, otherwise you won't be able to see the difference. Um, and even then it's not too noticeable, so all I need to do is select both of them, create a new compound clip, and we'll just call it, you know, 60. It doesn't matter what you call it. And it makes them a compound clip. So now I can just double click on that and open. Go here to retime. And now I'm going to slow them down. So this is just like you do before. Then we'll go back to here. And choose optical flow for the video quality. Back to the timeline. Whoops. All right. So there's our new clip. Now when you get to the compound clip, we're actually going to double the speed. All right, so there it is. So we've made the compound clip 200% speed, and we've made the clips inside it 50%. These are each 50%. I'll show you that now. So these are 50%, and we added optical flow, and this is 200% speed. And what will happen is it will add the frame, but it will play back the clip at normal speed. And you'll have a 60 frame per second clip from a 30 frame per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to an exported video so you can see what it looks like. And uh, make sure you're watching this video in 60p.